Right, well, with me now, we've got Matt Williams from Metaswitch. Now, Metaswitch, one of our partners in crime earlier, but Matt, we haven't actually kind of met before, have we? I think we met in uh, in Tadhack, Madrid. Oh, of course we did. Yeah, you were at uh, Tadhack in, in Madrid. What did you do there? Um, so I was working on um, putting together a, a demonstration with, uh, with Truefone and with Canonical of... Um, uh, orchestrating the um, Project Clearwater and, and True Phone Connections using uh, Juju, which is Canonical's orchestration platform. Okay, tell us a little bit about Project Clearwater. Um, so Project Clearwater is a massively scalable um, open source IMS core. Um, so it's, it's built from the ground up to run the cloud and, and take advantage of modern um, web scale technologies. And massively scalable because we run it in the cloud. Yeah, yeah. So um, we, we do a lot of our testing on EC2 where, you know, you can, you can spin up as many virtual machines as you like. I quite often come into the office and turn up like 10, 15 machines um, to, um, to run, you know, stress tests. Um, we've turned up like hundreds at a time. And uh, EC2 get a little bit upset when you do too many. They, uh, and I'm sitting here smiling because I know quite a lot about Clearwater. Having used it, uh, first of all, we, we did uh, a big demo at TAD Summit in Istanbul last year, which went down extremely well. And then we extended the demo for Mobile World Con Congress this year. Yes, yes. Th those, both those demos were quite, quite impressive. I was pleased to see those working. Yeah, and uh, we ended up running real mobile traffic over this open source core uh, in a very scalable way. Um, which uh, allows us to demonstrate some of the real benefits of using open source. Not only is it, well, cheaper, I suppose, but that's not the, the main motivation for using uh, open source. We like it because we can change the functionality very easily. Yes, you can be very agile, and it's, it's, um, it was great getting, um, getting lots of different components running together. So, you know, um, obviously Clearwater running alongside Telestacks and Truefone and um, uh, Fairwaves for the, um, for, the, for the mobile connectivity. It was good getting all those open source bits talking to each other yeah indeed so matt tell me what you're going what you're doing here at uh, tad hack mini um so i i, I just uh, wanted to come along and do a bit of hacking uh, and, and obviously meet people um so um so what i've what i've done is i've um uh, there's, a, there's a project um downstairs called matrix um which is a um a distributed messaging um solution me message architecture um which has um uh, so, uh has applications for um, just basic messaging, instant messaging, and um, calls, as well as things like um, Internet of Things uh, solutions. And what I'm doing is I'm building a SIP to uh, Matrix Gateway. So I've taken some of the Project Clearwater um, code that we have that's, um, let's say, massively scalable, and I'm um, kind of bolting on a, a gateway so that, that can talk to talk into Matrix. So you can make a call over SIP and route that number that call through into um, into the matrix which sounds absolutely great and and something I asked you earlier um, because we've already got true phone numbers uh, routing into project Clearwater what I would really like to do is to route calls in via true phone through Clearwater across matrix and uh, you're not the only person who's done this gateway thing I know that M Matthew Hodgson from uh, matrix uh, is uh, is doing exactly the same thing, but using a slightly different technique. So I'd like to route true phone calls across your bit of infrastructure, across Matrix, to demonstrate the federation interoperability, back over Matthew's bit and back into true phone. Uh, that'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, that would be a really cool demo. Yeah, well, but are we going to do it today? I'm not sure we're going to do it today. I'm, I'm still, uh, I'm still busy hacking the code. I think it's, it's, uh, 24 hours isn't quite enough. Yeah, and that's one of the the things I love about these hackathons. There's always this element of danger. Will he make it? Will he not make it? Um, so you've got until about one o'clock, probably a little bit later, if you're on the back end of the of the uh, the demos. Yeah, yeah. So I've, I've got I've got most of the messaging working. It's going to be tight, but. Um it's, it's, it's part of the fun. Yeah, well, there are a couple of people like Tim Panton and uh, Andy Smith downstairs who, who may be able to help you with the, uh, with the media side. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll have a chat to them. Yeah, that's one of the great things about coming here, actually, is that uh, you come along, you meet people uh, who have skill sets that are slightly different to your own, and you can build these um, composite teams and get things done extremely quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's also good to meet people in person because um, there are quite a lot of people that I've, I've had Google Hangouts and think with, with in the past, but actually getting to meet people face-to-face -face is, is always, it's always much better that way. Yeah, indeed, hugely valuable. Yeah. Anyway, Matt, thank you very much for thank that. You.